2010 Chrysler Town & Country front disc brakes. Remove the front lug nuts, 19 millimeter. Left to loosen, right to tighten. Break the lug nuts loose on the ground and jack it up and support it as necessary for your safety. 13 millimeter socket for the bolts for the calipers. 15 millimeter wrench if you need to hold the caliper slide in place. Two 21 millimeter bolts for the caliper bracket. We'll use a screwdriver to collapse the piston. We've uh, taken a little brake fluid out of the master cylinder so when we collapse the brake piston here, brake caliper piston, uh, it won't overflow. We can see the caliper slides are working real well. Probably do need a probably a half inch breaker bar for the caliper bolts. Set that off to the side, kind of sits on the springs if you're careful, it'll be fine. We clean this area or replace it with new pieces. Lubricate these. They feel pretty good though. And the rotor should just slide off. You can tap it with a hammer if you need to to replace it. Uh, town and countries, caravans have a huge problem with brake rotor warpage where you feel the brake pedal pushing back at you. So we're going to replace it. inner pad. This is the driver's side. Put them in at an angle from the back first.
starting all bolts by hand. Make sure your brake line. Make sure your brake line does not get twisted back there. That's the front brake pad replacement on your 2010 Chrysler Town & Country. Probably other model years. Not a lot changes with uh, brake calipers. Disc brake jobs. Just the bolt sizes and stuff like that change a little bit. Uh, when you're done with your front brakes, go in the car and uh, pump the pedal a few times. Because uh, there's quite a gap here, so you want to take that up before you drive it. And then uh, top off your brake fluid as necessary between the minimum and maximum. There is kind of a front and a back to these clips, so be aware of how you're installing them. You don't want this longer, higher, taller lip in the front. Just to be aware of that if you're replacing them. So here's your brake fluid. Dot three. Let's turn it and take it off got a maximum and a minimum level so this is where you can use a clean rag or a turkey baster some kind of suction device take some fluid out before you collapse the pistons pump the brakes a few times and make sure uh, everything is set and then uh, top off your fluid as needed with dot three brake fluid